Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, it's Diego with the beautiful Karina, my lovely Prometita, as we wait for our K-1 visa to get adjudicated at the service center in California. And I'm in the United States. I am living in Florida, in the Panhandle near Pensacola, north of Navarre Beach and Karina. A beautiful lady from Caracas, Venezuela is living in Bogota, Colombia as a legal resident since 2018. And we're waiting just like you guys for our get K-1 visa to get adjudicated. And our NOA one date is April 18th, 2022. Now, this video is what happens if your beneficiary gets pregnant while you go visit her Mr. American Citizen, Mr. Sponsor, what happens to the status of that child? Come on along and I'll explain it to you. So your beneficiary got pregnant, Mr. American Citizen. You went on vacation and now she's pregnant and that's okay. Immigration do not have a problem with that. Okay, now the thing is, your question is, is my child a U.S. citizen? Well, Yes, your child is a U.S. citizen under the following conditions automatically. Which means what? Which means you don't have to get a K-2 visa. You don't have to go through the visa process. All you got to do is register the baby at the U.S. Embassy from the birth certificate with your name on the birth certificate, Mr. American Citizen. You register the birth at the U.S. Embassy and that will grant the baby citizenship for United States. But listen up to this information, this is very important, okay, to qualify. Number one, there must be a blood relationship between you, Mr. American Citizen, and the child. And this is established by clear and convincing evidence, okay? And, you know, you can, you gotta prove that the child is yours, Mr. American Citizen. Okay, you can do this through a DNA test, uh, you know, your name is on the birth certificate, etc. There's various ways you can do it. Now, the U.S. government, the, in order for your child to get a passport, a U.S. passport to fly the, to the United States, you, Mr. American Citizen, must agree to the following. Now you've established the, the proof that your child belongs to you. The, you, Mr. American Citizen, must agree in writing that you will take financial care of your child until he or she reaches the ripe old age of 18 years of age, okay? You gotta put it in writing and you have to sign a letter promising and declaring to the immigration officer at the embassy you're gonna take care of your child financially and otherwise until he or she is 18, okay? You also acknowledge under oath and in writing the paternity of the child, okay? So you're gonna swear under oath to the immigration officer that that young, that little baby in your arms, that beautiful little baby, belongs to you and your beautiful beneficiary under oath, all right? Now the immigration officer at the embassy didn't make all this stuff up out of his, he didn't pull out this requirement out of a hat, okay? This is the U.S. Congress. The U.S. Congress established these rules to prevent, number one, fraud, and number two, to ensure that the baby doesn't become a public charge and that you, Mr. American Citizen, are held accountable and responsible for your baby from zero to 18. And that's understandable, right? Uh, so basically, you're gonna write a letter and you're gonna say, yeah, this is my child. You're gonna swear an oath to the Im immigration officer and you're gonna promise to support the child in writing, financially and otherwise, until he or she's 18 years of age. Now, what if your child, Mr. American Citizen, is over the age of 18? Okay, well, it's still the same process, not a problem. You just have to, you have to prove documentation that you had promised and you had, that you supported your child from 0 to 18 in a letter or some kind of documentation to prove uh, that it was that you had taken care of your child during those years. You gotta have documentation to prove that you did that. USCIS may also consider other documentation 
uh, to qualify your new baby or child for American citizenship. Uh, if you, Mr. American Citizen, ha have accepted responsibility for the child and you promise until to accept responsibility of the child until he or she reaches 18, and other documents that you can prove of evidence that you have done this could be you had filed a previous affidavit of support, now called a declaration of financial support, in the past on the child. You have uh, you enrolled your child in the Military Defense Eligibility Reporting System, or DEERS, so you feel military, Mr. American Citizen, and you enrolled your child in the DEERS prog program. Uh, and TRICARE, that's all the document that's proving that you've been taking care of your child's medical and financially. And uh, basically that's it. So it's not a problem if your beneficiary gets pregnant, Mr. American Citizen, you got to register the birth at the U.S. Embassy or U.S. Consulate in his or her country. Um, you've got to, you know, provide the information I mentioned in the video. You got to swear an oath that the child is yours. And then when you get ready to bring your fiance to the United States of America, her visa gets approved. Your baby, your new baby, will have a U.S. passport, not a, K, a K2 visa. So we hope this information is helpful to you guys. Okay, don't stress the process. You've got this. You can do this. It's just time. Time waiting. We're waiting. You're waiting. We're waiting. Be patient, and we will see you very soon with your K-1 visa in your hand as you come to the United States of America. And thanks for watching. Hang in there, guys. You got this. It's a piece of cake. I'll be back. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we're not immigration attorneys. Karina and I, we're not immigration attorneys. This is educational videos for you guys to help you through the process. We don't offer legal advice here, and uh, like I'm not a doctor, I'm not a, I'm not a pilot, I'm not an attorney, I'm a real estate agent, and Karina is the manager of a couple of ice cream stores in Bogota, Colombia, but we know the process. So hang in there guys, and don't stress this, you got this. Hello everyone, how are you?